Hey guys, welcome back to Thursday Thoughts. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my review and thoughts on the Hemp Organics lipsticks that I've tried out. I have tried out a whole ton of these. You guys, if you saw my haul, um, my local natural food store was having a huge like clearance. They're switching over their um, like owners and so they're clearancing out a bunch of brands. Anyways, I took advantage. They were like $1.99 each and these normally retail I think in the $17 mark. So they're definitely like a higher end or just like a natural uh, lipstick and I think they perform just like their price is. So I think they're actually at a good price point for what they are. So anyways, um, like you guys already saw my haul and swatches, I'll link it down below if you're, if you're interested in seeing everything swatched. But I really think that the colors here are kind of unique and great for fall. I've got some really neat, um, like the deeper browns, and I think these were um, probably colors that weren't as, you know, people weren't gravitating to them as much because, you know, I've got some like browns here. This one is called Cappuccino. Um, that, that video has full swatches. But they're just kind of some out of my comfort zone type colors and a few of these I've actually even though they're out of my comfort zone I've been wearing them anyway and I've really been liking them so on the top there I've got cappuccino and also espresso these are browns but I've been loving these too like out of the colors I got they're definitely ones that I think you can pull off during the fall time and I've really been liking them today I've actually got on ginger which is kind of like a pinky orange like a ginger is the perfect way to describe it but this would be either a nice fall or springtime color or I mean any time of the year you can wear any color lipstick you want but I've got that on today and then over the top of it I took brown sugar which I think is a good topper color I don't think that this is great for my lips or my skin tone just by itself but um, this is what it looks like just by itself I don't know why I think it just kind of washes me out because it's kind of cool toned but today that's what I've got on this with this on top so the thing that I like about this formula of lipstick now when you put these on, they're not super, super thin, but they're not thick at the same time. Like when it's on my lips, it just feels very, very comfortable, almost like a lip balm would, even if it's a deep, dark color. Like these deep, dark browns, they still have that like nice, thick, but lightweight feel, if that makes sense. Plus the ingredients, you cannot beat them. I'll put um, a list of the ingredients down below so you guys can check them out. I'll also link, if I can find these on Amazon, I'll link some of them down below too. I know a lot of people like to shop on Amazon, it's more readily available if you don't have a local natural food store. I was looking to see if these were on Vitacost and they're not, at least not yet, but um, maybe sometime they will. Vitacost just rocks it out of the park with the prices, so I always check there first. Anyway, so this formula, really great. A thing I like about this is that if I am wearing one of a, like a deeper color lipstick, um, this is crimson, if I'm wearing a deeper color lipstick, I'm always kind of weary about it like moving outside of the lip line. Sometimes even if you have a lip liner on, some lipsticks kind of, like they just feel like they're going to move around. And these feel like they have enough weight to them that they don't. So I usually put on um, a lip liner. I've used theirs, um, which I have, let's see if I've got those. Um, I've used theirs before and I don't necessarily, I don't know, they're kind of more of a not as stay put type formula as I like. They're very easy to use, like they're very creamy and buttery, but it's almost too much for a lip liner. So on the top I have got Autumn and on the bottom I have got Plum. I think they do a good job lining your lips and getting that really good line, but they don't necessarily help as much with the feathering as some of my other lip liners do. But they are so creamy, like you saw how easy that went on my, on my arm. <laughs> Anyways. I do like the formulas though, I think as long as with some of the darker colors, like specifically the reds, I do find that they bleed a little bit, so I do use a lip liner, which I do most of the time when I use a darker color, but I'm just so much more confident with this brand's lip products that they're not going to slide around, they're not going to be like all over the place, um, which is really important to me when I'm wearing a deeper color. Um, also they do feel like, you know, if you're wearing a lighter color and it's not a, an issue, like this one I have on right now, they do feel really, really nice and comfortable and buttery and they're not drying at all. So my review definitely gets a thumbs up. I'm really, really loving these. I definitely would be interested maybe once it gets towards, you know, summer and spring, investing in some more colors that are a little bit lighter, brighter colors. The line actually has a ton of different colors. So um, anyways, that's my review. Thumbs up from me, maybe even two thumbs up. I really do like these and I'm glad that I got such a great deal so I could try out so many and share so many different colors with you guys. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you would like to hear my thoughts on for next week's Thoughts Thursday, kind of a review. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.